field interpreter at the St. Boniface Museum. At the center of the museum, we have the chapel. As a place of prayer for the Grey Nuns, it is still a meeting place in the museum. This magnificent chapel has not always been this long. Before the extension in the 1880s, 1890s, it stopped at this first pillar here. The Grey Nuns were very enthusiastic about the advent of electricity, and they covered every arch and pillar of their chapel with light bulbs. Unfortunately, the intense light damaged the paint colors over the years, but the chapel was restored in the 1990s. Painted on this arch up here, we have a phrase in Latin, O crux ave spes unica, pardon my pronunciation. This phrase is the motto of the Grey Nuns, and it means, O cross, I salute thee, our only hope. One of the four founding sisters of the convent at the Red River Colony, Sister La Grave, pronounced this sentence on their journey here. Sister La Grave was joyful and very well known for her artistic talents, from embroidery to singing. At the back of the sanctuary in the chapel, we find a masterpiece made by Sister La Grave. It's a statue of the Virgin Mary, a very important and venerated figure in Catholicism. In fact, this statue dates back to the beginning of the Grey Nuns here in the Red River Colony. At that time, life was hard and there were not a lot of resources. No matter what, the Grey Nuns found ingenious and inexpensive ways to pursue their projects. Sister La Grave collected bits of paper from around the Red River Colony. When she had enough paper, she constructed this statue of the Virgin Mary in 1848 with a technique that we know from elementary school, paper mache. This statue of the Virgin Mary was also saved from the fire of the first St. Boniface Cathedral in 1860. To answer your burning question of how, it's because paper mache is light and the statue weighs only 14 pounds, a bit more than six kilograms, so it was very easy to get it out. The entire cathedral was devastated by that fire. All written records from the beginning of the Catholic mission were destroyed, a bit like when the hard drive of a computer crashes. Only a few sacred objects were saved, including the statue of the Virgin Mary constructed only 12 years earlier. Today, this survivor statue occupies a central place in the chapel of the St. Boniface Museum.